Thanks for staying with us. Well done, well done, well done. So everybody's asking about the movie, and I have to ask you, what inspired it, and who wrote the script? Like, who thought of Agemo Gundiji? <laughs> <laughs> like, who put that script What's together? Teacher? Okay, um, that's two questions in one. Yes. <laughs> All right, so um, what inspired Jagun Jagun? It's the, the participation of the youth in the society. All right, so there, there have been a lot of um, youth accusing the government of blah, blah, blah. It's actually a social message, you know, and um, I felt, okay, we, the youth, need to talk to ourselves first. All right, so for... These people in power that we're talking about mm. cannot perpetrate any evil, so-called evil, without mm. using the youth. Mm. All right, so most times the youth are used as the instrument for destruction. Mm -hmm. So I felt, okay, let's take the bull by the horn. All right, let's talk to the youth. Stop allowing yourselves to be used as weapons or instruments of destruction. So if, if you resist from, you know, allowing yourself to be used as a weapon, then let's see how they can use weapons for destruction. So that inspired so me passing that message, you know, and I, yeah. and I thought of passing it in a very unique way, mm -hmm. you know, and at the same time wanting to set the beauty of Yoruba culture to the world. Mm. So, so I now merged the two together mm. to come up with Yagun Jago. You see, they're waiting for me to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a huge fan. See, especially your, the whole movie was great. Thank you. But you, I said, I know you, I mean, I know of you, I've seen you in movies, I've met you, I think you've been here before, but I did not recognize you. I just kept thinking, this person looks familiar, familiar you know? <laughs> he looks familiar, I could not find you in the character. You embodied that character so well. Was he a mythical character? Was it fictional? Or is it a character that's been part of the Yoruba culture? And lastly, how did you get him out of your system to come back to you? <laughs> Well, um, the, the look is, of course, fictional, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I'll give um, the accolades to the makeup artist, Akim, mm -hmm. in fact, okay. So I have a picture in my head as a producer, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, it's a different thing. You have a picture and mm, being lucky to get somebody who can bring out that That's picture you have in your head. So Akim brought it out, you know, and I was like, exactly. No, he brought the makeup. I'm talking of the character. So the character, yeah. The actor. Well, two things, right? Yeah. I, as an actor, of course, you have to be versatile. So, and I know of a man, you know, that mm. is well, very wicked mm. back in a very particular village. So the son is a little bit close to me. Okay. So the father does this all, all, all the time. Oh, really? Like, no. Yeah. Wow. So I asked him, ah, kill his daddy, man. Why is your father always doing this? <laughs> And he said to me, Yoruba Paguni. That means the, the charms he has is mm. always, you know, yeah. taunting Twitching. him. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So he does that. He doesn't even know he does oh. it. So you don't adopt it. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. You did not miss I a bit. <laughs> you are <laughs> <You're laughs> <a> constantly <laughs> tweeting. Yeah. Let me tell Damola, please. Yes. Also on the characterization, because I was particularly inspired by the characters. And I was actually coming to that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because. I'm, I'm interested in how long it took you to get out of character because in, how, how many months did you shoot for? We shot for 45 days. 45 <gasps> days. So 45 days Please. doing this. So yeah. how did you get out of character? Number Only. one. Then number two, I saw, uh, is it uh, Bogumi? You know, his character was always, you know, shoving his like, bottle like this. Like, and I don't know, it kind of embodied, yeah. you know, um, his person. And also um, Latif Adedemeji. That's a botija. I noticed that he was more buffed, like his yeah, hands yeah, were right. bigger. Yeah. Did he work out? Yeah, did, yeah, he, he, did. did yeah. he have to you We know, were fully build up prepared to shoot Dragon Dragon. So oh, wow. three months to the project, we all yeah. you know, went back to the gym. Oh, wow. Know, and while we were still filming, we had trainings going yeah. on and like that. So. Okay, so <laughs> the Yoruba names were the things for me, like <laughs> Bogumi. But he died. He wrote your book. He told me. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's big. You know why? When you think that Yorubans are coming up with creative godly names, these names had always been there. Yeah. And it was interesting the way you said showcasing um, the Nigerian our culture. I loved the showcasing of the culture. Honestly, I was just so, I enjoyed the story so much. I didn't really get that your story. I did not even know that there was a political oh, undertone. Oh. Oh. A lesson about, 
you know, um, children and people being used. Yes, you highlight, um, they highlighted it. My, my question to you, <clears throat> because when we talk about um, movies showing um, our culture and going back in history and depicting what, what people do, I noticed that when we're doing this movie, you brought in a lot of our old... Um, veterans. Veterans, veterans, yeah. veteran actors, and um, it was interesting to see them play. Did you feel the, well, did you feel compelled to use them, uh, or did you want to highlight? In I felt you could have been an opportunity to highlight a really new face, new but generation. we saw a lot of our old guys. We're happy to see them, but was there any thoughts behind? I want to showcase the the, the guys that veterans. have been there the since. Veterans. Mm. Okay, so I, I actually used um, one stone to kill two birds.